as the RMS Titanic ready to set sail on April 10, 1912. If you closed your eyes, you would have heard an orchestra of sounds. The bustle of passengers, seagulls flying overhead, and the blast of a horn warning all to say their final goodbyes. Evening falls and the roar of excitement decrescendos into a light hum of tinkling champagne glasses in first class, down to third class with whispered conversations over a friendly card game. No one knew that only four days later those sounds would be drastically altered. Sometime before midnight on April 14th, the RMS Titanic collided with a massive iceberg. When it became crystal clear that the unsinkable ship was not going to live up to its reputation, and that there were not enough lifeboats for everyone, the murmur of mere concern explodes into clamoring panic. Yet through the harrowing sounds of weeping and wailing, sounds of hope broke through. Now many of the men on the Titanic knew they would not make it off alive. All had to decide how to use their last moments on this earth. It is expected that the captain should go down with his ship, yet the vessel's musicians were under no such obligation. However, eight contracted performers, Wallace Hartley, Theodore Braley, Roger Bucou, John Clark, George Crins, John Hume, Percy Taylor, and John Woodward took it upon themselves to pick up their instruments and use their God-given gifts to fill the atmosphere of terror with melodies that would bring calm to many hearts. Survivors reported hearing tunes ranging from ragtime, waltzes, and one particular hymn, Near My God to Thee. Imagine the kind of faith and resolve it would take to play on while those icy waters drew closer and closer. While the valiant musicians sought to calm souls, one Pastor John Harper was seeking to save them. Harper, his niece, and six-year-old daughter were traveling to the States for a preaching opportunity, but the time to preach was now. He was a widower, so he knew handing over his only daughter to a crewman to secure her life on a lifeboat would leave her orphaned. But Pastor Harper kissed her goodbye, then called out to everyone within earshot, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and ye shall be saved. Even when he became submerged in the freezing water, he continued this quest. At a survivor meeting four years later, one young man recalled rejecting the dear pastor's initial offer of salvation through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. The exciting sounds of the previous day were nowhere to be found. The music had faded, the laughter had ceased, and all that was left were the sounds of a sinking ship. The reality of death was inevitable. Providentially, he received a second chance. Are you saved? Harper asked again. The answer this time was yes, and the young man was John Harper's last convert. After all of these sounds of the RMS Titanic, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the last song the band played was called Autumn, and the last words of the pastor were, I'm going down, I'm going down, no, I'm going up. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode of Musical Time Machine.